out there was, um, is there anybody here would understand, I have a lady in this part where she's talking about Church Avenue or Church Close. I kept seeing this address here. Um, so would somebody here have connections to an address with Church Avenue or Church Close in it? Yourselves? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's wrong to hear the lady. It's not. Wrong. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man, sticking the money. <laughs> Because it, it's a mother that I have here that keeps talking about this address, but this is what she shows to me. The address is yeah, nothing to me. But, okay, but church does, the, the church in a street or a road or something of this? No, okay. Church present. Church present. And that's where you lived? Definitely. Okay. Um, let me work with this lovely wee mum first of all. Do you know what she's shown me here as well? She show me um, Park Drive cigarettes. Park Drive cigarettes. So would there have been somebody that would have smoked the park drive cigarettes? Back here? Well, no, a smoker, no? <laughs> 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 yeah, she was a heavy smoker. She smoked park drive cigarettes. <laughs> I'm seeing the long tip park drive. My brother used to smoke no, park drive. No, that's what I'm looking for. What do you think? No. No, he's just no. Uh, <laughs> let me work on. This lady, uh, she does feed here very much. Um, I know she's small, I mean, I know that about her. Um, I know that I've got a petite looking lady and all that. Um, I get a feeling that there's a brother with her in the spirit world. I'm hearing as well the name of George as well. I keep hearing of that name at spirit side. And I get a sense too that this mum would have been outlived her husband. So I know that dad would be in the spirit world because she feels like a very sprightly lady to me. And I know that she would have been more into her 80s, maybe even early 90s when she passed. Because I just feel here that she really had a very strong mind. But I keep being brought back to church. So there must be an address with church in it. There has to be. So would that connect in at all any of that we've said so far? The church bit. Um, the if I am with you then you must understand the name of Anne in Spur because I keep hearing of Anne. You see it doesn't feel there, but I'm loving that you put your hand up. Um, it just does I don't just feel it is quite there. It's just the church bit, do you understand? Like, this is some Right, what parts can you understand? I can take the George, what's the name for it? Mm -hmm. I can take the, the Angela, I can accept every bit of that. Are you serious? Every bit of it. Mm -hmm. But the Anne is not in the spirit world. The Anne is still here. But there is somebody, no, I'm, I'm sorry, there is somebody called Anne in there. Yeah, I'm, yes, I know that. I'm entirely right. And there's some park drive <coughs> cigarettes? Park drive cigarettes was smoked by my nana. Okay. And you understand the address? I do. Okay. Um, and is it church close? Yes. Church close? Yes. Because that's what I keep seeing written up. Church close. Okay, that's lovely. Um, so this is your your uh, grandmother then? This is my grandmother. But then my can I say, Glenn, mother. she must have been like a mum to you. Oh, Lola, very much. Because her. this lady comes forward with that kind of impression of this is this is like my boy, this is somebody that I think this speaks much better, you see. That's it, that's um, and I get a feeling here that there must have been at one stage in this grandmother's life where she lived beside an industrial uh, uh, a big industrial um, factory, yes. because that's what I keep seeing, and I know that it would have been the old red brick ones, because um, that's yeah. what I look at, and I know that where she lived, it must have been all these little tiny houses, um, because it feels here about red brick terraced houses, would that make it's sense? Like red brick terraced terrace Great terrace stuff. Um, and I feel too, she was the lady that must have lived in this church crowd, or this church close, is that yeah. correct? It's not, that's no. okay then. Yeah. Would you understand please the name of Bill or William? Bill, because Bill, I keep uncle, hearing Bill, about Bill, Bill is here as well. And there's also another gentleman there by the name of James or yeah. Jim that wants that's to right. be known to you. Um, right. And I, I hear him saying, just to say hello for you. Um, and I get also a sense too, they're showing me here that there's a man in the sport world. And I know um, he thinks here that he used to write music. I keep seeing the writing of music and he said to me that he used to play the piano. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that it wasn't just classical. Yeah. But I know that he had a gift for that. Yes, but what I see yeah. here about this, these musical sheets, yes, that he used to um, compose all his own music, and he feels like he used to work in a church 
at one stage, right. um, but more voluntary, more That's voluntary, right. you That's see, because I keep right. hearing this yeah. from him, you see, yeah. um, and I also get this impression from you, Ronnie, because she comes back again, that she's very, very happy there, she's very, very happy, and she wants you to take care of yourself, yeah. she's talking about your health, yeah. and about you, and she says it's about time you got a message, yeah. because she thinks you never get one, no, um, I and I wasn't expecting this, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what she said, it's about time you got a message. I also hear you must have known somebody by the surname of Brian's yes. at one stage because yes. I hear of Brian's and I'm also seeing the surname of Murphy yes. being written up here, do you yes. understand Murphy yes. is part? Um, and I also sense too that there must be an Anthony, yes. Anthony who would be spurred yes. side too, did you know? Yes. Um, and these feel like friends. Yes. It doesn't feel like relatives, these names that I'm connected to, yes. does that make right. sense? Um, and I also sense too that there's, there must have been an uncle who that went through an awful lot of problems with his heart yes. at the end because he keeps talking about his chest. Yes. It wasn't great, yes. it wasn't great, you see. Um, and I know too, what else, Granny, you're doing great work. Your Granny's bringing all these people in, she's bringing all these people in, um, and she feels like she wants to take that stick and hit you with them. Um, and she feels like she's the type of woman that was quite, I wouldn't say um, rough, but she feels very strong minded. Well, and if she wanted to get a message across, she would get it across. Can I tell you? Yes. There's her son, well, they used to come home late. If they didn't come home at the time that she wanted them home, she'd meet them at the door with a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't use it, but she liked it. Well, I know it's. So I know she exactly wants to what, take yes. the stick, yes. and it's more about looking after yourself. Yes, I, I that that is what the message is yeah. about. I'm wanting to be there for you. I'm also hearing the name of Potty or Patrick yes. in Spark that you yes. must have known yes. going back yes. quite some time. I hear yes. that. And I know too, and this is amazing, but I want to say it anyway, but I know Gordon's here. Yeah. And I can just feel his presence. And he showed me that he is ever, ever so proud of you for what you have achieved and what you have done with your life. Good. And the fact that he did help you through your books. Yes. He's talking about this. Yes. Would it make sense whenever you wrote your books that there would have been a light that you would have seen? Yeah. Um, as you were you were writing yeah. down, there was a light that somewhere that you would have seen in the room. Yeah. Because yeah. he's talking about that was him. Yeah. That was him. He was inspiring your mind for that to take and place. The connection with light <laughs> is also to do with him. Okay. Well, I know this ball of light, he's telling me that it was him. This is what he's yeah, saying. Because his, what is his main control of the spirit was called light. Oh, I didn't know that. Perfect. And so, I, I, and he said, he always said to me, whenever I got a message, that light would always come. Well, there you go. So at least that's confirming that's it. it. And, and this is what he's showing me. Um, so there's lots and lots of people there, and your granny wants to take your stick and hit you. Yeah. Um, so she's a lovely lady yeah, and she well, is well. and I mean that with my whole heart yeah. and I know that she's just wanting to say something about um, have you been not, are you allergic to eggs? Can you not eat eggs? No I eat eggs but uh, she's putting an X through eggs. All right. So will you remember that for All me? Right. Um, uh, I don't well know. Well actually I'm going to go to find out okay. what I should or should not eat. All right. Well, may I leave you with your family's love and Absolutely. with your friends' love and just say thank Absolutely. you very much for working with Oh, and Terence wants to say hello. Terence. Terence. Yeah. There's a Terry there. Yeah. There's a and Terry, he just says, Terry there. Yeah, and there's a man that was in the Air Force yeah. that wants to say hello. The there's loads. <laughs> loads. <laughs> I'm trying to move on to get to you guys, oh. um, but that's what I hear, so I'll yeah. leave that with you there, Glenn. Um, I just want to, first of all, thank, thank your spirit loved ones in the spirit world for coming through and giving us those contacts. And I want to say a big massive thank you to everybody that joined us here tonight for this evening of mediumship. Have you enjoyed it? Yes. yes. Has it been great, hasn't it? Yes. Some nice contacts and lovely. I've asked them again, I didn't, I, I didn't hear anybody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes. So I just want to uh, thank once again Glenn for coming over from England and to be able to serve here the night for you as well. So please put your hands together. And for this time, for Angela, for a moment, our friend over there. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for yourself. Just to say that if maybe if he's wanted uh, maybe a one-to-one -one 
read them with myself. Um, I do those from the centre of the house of healing just down the Beachman Avenue in Falls. And I know that my mummy has loads of cards, so you can pick one up on the way out. And um, I'll just leave that with you. So we do, just another wee thing, there's an evening medium ship coming up at the house of healing, isn't there? Yeah, we do those twice a month, and they only see 24. Um, I think there's maybe about 10 tickets gone for this, this it's coming up on the 11th or 13th. 13th of October. 13th of October. So there's £7 pound tickets, so you have to drop into the centre to get some. So we do fancy it, it's a lovely night, there'll always be a guest to work alongside me. Um, so you can put the phone number and stuff is on there if you want more information. So I'll leave all that with you to say thank you very much and God bless.